In this walkthrough, I'm going to give you a condensed version of the lab sysprep process, starting with the uh, post here. Uh, you're going to get a message about the DVD. I keep that mounted out of convenience. The kernel's going to boot. And it's going to go through the pre sysprep process. And basically, right now, it's just unpacking files, doing the generalized portion of the setup. And at this point, what it's actually doing is finding old devices. So you're going to be at this spot here for a while. I've condensed it. And then all of a sudden, it's going to reboot. Again, you're going to see the kernel booting up. And the real process takes much longer than this two and a half minute video. And you're going to see this friendly screen again. And then all of a sudden, it's going to reboot again. You're going to think something's wrong, but this is actually a pretty normal uh, sysprep process. There's about seven phases of the sysprep process, and what we're forcing it to do is go through three of them. And this is the last time it had a reboot, so at this point, it's going to ask you for a CD key. We'll never put that in. We'll go use the 30-day trial mode. And it's going to wait again here, but it's going to get up to this point. It's going to ask you for a name. Go ahead and always use server and then a numeral. We'll use server 1 here. And it's basically getting ready for the first run experience. So, as always, you hit Control Alt Delete, and the password on all the sysprep images is password. Now, it's important to note that I actually turned off password complexity um, because I couldn't use something simple like password, but I wanted to keep everything identical, so. Uh, turned it off and you've got a desktop and the identification here in a second with BG Info.